Hello, my name is Johan Falk. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create your own Drupal site on a host called Web Enabled, a Drupal service or a, a hosting service actually, but they provide Drupal sites and you can get trial versions that last for 30 days without pay paying a penny. That's kind of nice. Um, uh, because you want to have some kind of Drupal site if you want to follow these exercises and things we'll be doing in the upcoming screencasts. And, um, Web Enabled is one place to, to do this. Um, uh, they're nice guys at Web Enabled. I, I like them. Um, I haven't tried them uh, on a professional basis. I, I don't know uh, what their services are for, for professional use. Uh, but, but they're uh, pretty good, well, very good to use for educational purposes. Uh, so at least for that, they're good. Um, yeah, okay. So if you don't have any account at Web Enabled, you can get one. If you sign up here, I'm gonna click the free trial thing dun, 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 dun. and then I think you go to the yeah the, the different pricing plans and if you look very closely to this page you'll find this one this link down here called trial plan if you click that one uh, you will come to a page uh, where you log in I guess or create an account yeah we're gonna call myself you um, Falk because that's my name and I've set up a temporary email address uh, that I'll be using here. I'm going to call my company Johan Falk, that's nice. Uh, username, let's pick the date, the today's date. And I'm going to use that for password as well. I'm going to destroy this uh, account afterwards. So, yeah. Or maybe I'll just change the password, who knows. Like that, uh, uh, giving some credentials and creating an account. Dun, dun, dun. Having a sip of tea. Ah. All right. Um, and there it is, uh, my account. I don't have any Drupal site yet, but if I go to my dashboard here, could probably have clicked here as well. Uh, I will get a chance to create a new site. So I will do that. Start site. Dun, dun, dun. You're allowed to have two sites uh, on the trial uh, version of uh, on Web Enabled. So you can have two Drupal sites running in parallel without paying anything. If you want to create more, you have to delete one of the sites and then create a new one. You can export stuff from from uh, web enabled. You have full access to the file system, to the database, and things like that. So it's really useful. Uh, you you can do just about anything you can do with web enabled uh, with uh, a Drupal site on your own computer on web enabled. That's just just great. And they also have something called Drush, which I will mention later on. Uh, they have a number of applications you can install. This top ten you can probably view all of them if you want to. I'm interested in Drupal 7, so I'm going to select that one to install. And then there is a short process on uh, setting this up, uh, selecting like uh, uh, base information for this. I'm going to call the site 11.12.04, put that in the folder with the same number. Next step. And as you see here, I can only do this on a shared hosting thing uh, for web enabled and that's how life is when you don't pay anything I mean, I mean come on it's free uh, I, I usually use uh, locally uh, well and um, put my Drupal sites my development stuff on my computer I think it's very useful to be able to work with them even offline um, um, but that's up to you. If you don't want to have a server on your, com your computer, you can use Web Enabled or something else that you find. Um, all right, that's it. I'm creating my new site. Dun, dun, dun. Having a cup of tea. All right, and now it's being built. This will take a minute or two. And while doing that, I'm going to show you some uh, alternatives to using web enabled. Here is Drupal Gardens. Um, the, uh, this is kind of Drupal's uh, version of uh, WordPress.com where you can create a WordPress site and WordPress blog and, and just get going. You can do the same thing here if you log in and you then come to 
um, your site manager. I have currently three sites uh, here and I have one other site which I'm a member of and things and I can create a new one if I want to. Now my connection here is rather slow so I think this will load slowly. No, it's pretty nice. Okay, let's try this one. Starting a new site. This one is free, good. So I'm continuing. This is not a part of the standard Drupal process, uh, nor is the stuff we saw over at Web Enabled. If, if you download Drupal and install on your computer locally, you won't see any of this. Uh, here, uh, Drupal Gardens has some cool options where you can just turn on and off some, some features and some functionality on your site. They have some presets here saying, I want to say a blog site. Clicking here, and they turn on and off some of the settings here. But you can, if you want to, turn on and off yourself. And then create. I won't go into details about what these things do. This is just for, for uh, well, w wasting time while the real Drupal site over at Web Enabled is being built. Let's see if I go back to dashboard here, perhaps. and then look at my sites. Oh, it's done. Nice. And if I click on this one, I come to my site. Here's a list of all my sites currently on the one. You're listing my information here and I got that saved so I don't need yeah, need to see it anymore. They don't store it on web, web enabled, so make sure that you write down this information and keep it somewhere safe. Here's some kind of dashboard for, for the site. This is, uh, uh, again, this is a web enabled tool, not the Drupal site uh, itself. Um, but we'll come back to this one once in a while and use Drush things and maybe also uh, access the, the file system to, to put some stuff uh, on the site. Uh, when we write modules or modify themes and stuff. Here's a web accessible URL to go to my site. I click that, open a new tab, and here is my Drupal site. Nice. It has a very nice name here, and I can log in. Uh, the login name is always admin, and then the password you set, um, something like that, login, and 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 there we are nice so uh, that's how to go from zero to uh, a clean Drupal installation in basically no time uh, you can see here we're probably done or now we're not really done at the Drupal Gardens yet but almost that means I have time for a little bit more tea All right. I'm not going to do anything more with these sites right now. I'm just going to show you that they're they are enabled and you can use them. So here's my Drupal Garden site. You can see it's kind of different to my uh, my clean Drupal installation on the web enabled. Uh, they are both being run on Drupal. This is uh, uh, modified and changed and and has some uh, content and extra modules and and things. Uh, that makes it easy to, to just get going with with, with this uh, Drupal Garden site uh, while this site is very clean and you have to do everything yourself. That's what we're going to have a look at later on in other screencasts, but not right now. Um, yeah, okay, before, before stopping the screencast, I'm going to say a few words about how I run my Drupal sites. I have a WAMP uh, installed on my... Uh, computer I have a, a Mac right now uh, I have Linux as well and then I run LAMP uh, you need PHP you need uh, well and some kind of server Apache is uh, Apache and PHP is like the regular stuff usually you have a MySQL database as well uh, to run Drupal on and that's just great it's easy to use Drupal can run with a number of other databases as well but MySQL is by far the most common one and um, I guess that's it. Uh, you can use, let's see, if you want to have a local installation and you don't want to go through the hassle of installing, uh, or you're um, not feeling really certain of how to install a 
server on your on your computer you can go to acquia.com slash downloads I think it is could probably click yeah could probably click there uh, and you can install something download and install something called Acquia Drupal this will install a Drupal uh, well a server and a Drupal um, set up on that server on your computer so you can use it locally. That's pretty good because the server is also optimized to, to run Drupal. It has a PHP member set to some uh, nice levels and you get the database and everything installed at once. That's kind of useful. Uh, if you want, that, That's good for trying out, I would say. Uh, you don't want to run uh, Drupal permanently on Acquia Drupal. Then you probably want a clean uh, LAMP or uh, WAMP or XAMP installation instead. But that's a whole a different uh, topic. Yeah, alright, so we have a Drupal site and soon we will start using it. See you there.